How's it going guys, my name is Josh and in this video I'm going to show you how to compile armor paint from source so that you can save a bit of cash. If you're unfamiliar with armor paint, it's a PBR texture painting program similar to Substance Painter that's designed by the team that's working on the Armory engine. On the armor paint website, if you go to the download page, you can purchase armor paint for 16 euros, which is less than one month's subscription for Substance. It's a one-time purchase rather than a subscription, it includes free updates, and your money will be going towards the development of the software. So it's definitely an investment worth considering. However, if you're on the fence about Armor Paint, or you fancy giving it a go, then you can use it for free if you compile the Git version yourself. It's a pretty straightforward process, so let's get into it. To start off with, you'll need Visual Studio installed. If you don't already have it, you can download it from here and get the community version for free. You'll also have to have both Node.js and Git installed before you can continue. Once you've got all that sorted, you'll need to copy this line from the GitHub page and then create or choose a directory for the files. After that, you just want to open up the console by typing CMD in Start menu, or by pressing the Windows key and R, and then typing CMD and pressing Enter. Then you want to navigate to the directory that you created. Mine is a folder on the desktop, so I'll type CD space desktop, followed by CD space and the name of the folder. Then you can just paste in that line that you copied from the GitHub page, and let it do its thing while it acquires the files that we need. Once that's finished, you'll notice that inside of that directory, there's now a folder called Armor Paint, and a whole bunch of files and folders inside of that. So now what you've got to do is navigate to the Armor Paint folder inside the console by typing cd space armor paint and pressing enter. Now what you want to do is type node space Chrome X slash make space dash G space direct 3D 11 and press enter. And then you've got to wait for that once again. Once that's finished, you'll need to navigate to the subfolder Chrome X by typing CD space Chrome X. Then go and open the Chrome X folder in Explorer and go to V8 libraries Win32 release and extract the v8 underscore monolith zip file. Now in the console you want to type node space kink slash make space dash g space direct 3d 11 space dash dash no shaders and hit enter. Then you can close the console and navigate to the Chrome X build folder and open the Visual Studio project. Once that's opened up, set the build to be for release in X64. After that, right click on your project in the Solution Explorer and select Properties. The first thing you want to do here is make sure that the configuration is set to all configurations and then under debugging, you want to add the following command line arguments. It should read dot dot backslash dot dot backslash build backslash chrome and then hit OK. Then simply right click on the project and click build. And once that's finished, you're all done. You can check the output to find where the build is output to and then you can click the local Windows debugger to run the program. And there you have it. Armor Paint built from source. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, then leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel for more game design related content. Remember to show some love for the Armor Paint team if you enjoyed the software by purchasing it from their website and supporting the development. That's all for this one guys, I hope you have a good one and God bless.